This channel is devoted to encouraging its viewers to do it by yourself. Gardening, landscaping, culinary, and other God-given talents create an absolutely invigorating, peaceful, and a uniquely nurturing and holistic lifestyle. Living spaces, large and small, can benefit from these budget-friendly tasks and projects. So take this journey with Ms. Martha. You have one life to live, so engage in it with passion. Hello, everybody. You see, Miss Marvin is out here. She has worked and paid off, and I'm very excited. This episode today is going to be about. Let me get down from here gingerly. This episode is going to be about palettes, which I'm working on. Paint, which you look and see, different things have been painted. And possibilities all right possibilities what can be done i always say that i'm excited but this time i'm exhilarated my hand is on the newly painted fence <laughs> the newly painted fence and you're gonna see some before photos that will show you how disastrous this whole area looked but I am so pleased with myself, pleased with God. And I took a challenge from the garden friendly guy who has a YouTube channel. He does hostas, exceptional. Check out his channel, it's amazing. My hostas came from other parts of my uh, yard, okay? And I would like, and I'm gonna go along here. I would like uh, someone who knows a whole lot about houses, and I know I have a subscriber to other people that do. Tell me, I, I started trying to Google it, but I just didn't really have time. This is number one hosta. What is the name of this one? Please comment to Miss Marva. That's number one. Then we go to this one that I moved. What is the name of this beauty? Very gorgeous and lovely, but no idea. Now, I do believe that this one, number three, and number one are the same types, but I don't know that either. And I believe these two are the same kind. Um, let's see. I, and then this one over here. So that's one, two, three, four. That one behind the obelisk. Uh, that's number five, right? So the one last one over here. Let me step up here. This is kind of small over here, but I know it's a different variety. So if you can tell me what is, what is this? <laughs> what is this? But anyway, back to this, how I did this. Um, this area, remember when we had another episode and you and I were saying, close your eyes? That's this area. I'm so shocked, I'm so pleased. It took three or four days, but let me tell you how it started out. This bed is, I had to build up a burn because of the roots that grow. As you see, look, these roots go through everything around here. That's why I cannot have a normal bed. I can't put down normal things like normal people, but I look upon it as a challenge. So what I did underneath here, the first layer Old tablecloth, plastic tablecloths I used to use. Tablecloths, plastic. Uh, that's a whole bunch of that. Tablecloths and plastic and, and um, things like that. Then I brought in a bunch of leaves, boards, sticks, logs, you name it. And I, and I had it up this high. I really built it up. So then I said, okay, what, what can I do next? So then I brought in saw. Not bad the soil. I just dug it up from different places around and I started layering it like a lasagna style with, with the soil and then peat moss, uh, compost, leaves. And so I kept building, building it up. Now, 
when we look around at how I design this, because I do like doing things like that. This camellia was in the front. If you look at a different episode, once I put it back here, look at the gorgeous blooms. Beautiful, beautiful color on this. All right. Then I put in a little rope, variegated leaves. Pretty. But of course, you know what these uh, elephant ears. Even after I put this whole thing in here, it didn't seem right until I, I just pulled up some elephant ears from other parts of the garden and brought those over here. Now, I realize normally obelisks are supposed to be tall and these not, but they but I put them together because they're miniature and I love them. Okay, I really, really do. I like the design. And I painted those with the white paint. Now, I'm going to, as you're looking at this, I'm going to bring over, you're looking at the different designs and the different plants. I'm going to bring over the things I use. All right. As you can see, we have cans of paint, and I'm going to put them over here. I'm only going to emphasize the most beautiful parts. White paint for the obelisk, okay? Red paint for the bench, you see purple? Yellow spray paint for you know, this like my trellis and everything like that. And when it comes to this brush was used with, this is great paint. I had it for five or six years. And when I first opened it, it had, it didn't look right. And I'm thinking, I wonder what's wrong. Then finally realized, hey, let me stir it up. So I stirred it up. It's empty now, I can throw it away. But Miss Marva, with as far as this fence, uh, I had to paint the fence after I installed the bed. And you can see that that's gonna be one of the photos because the bed started looking gorgeous, but then the fence was terrible. So then I'm like, all right. So it took me about five hours. And uh, just to let you know, I, I still have a little more touch up to do because part of it was wet, but I had to go ahead with it. And I have to be careful around these roots here. But I did it. One at a time. One at a time, I did it until I went all the way across there. So then after I did that and got that straight, then we said, okay, hey, what about the pallets? These pallets were the ones that had all of the, I got a lot of pea gravel. And I still have more to do over there, but the first delivery is kind of strange. I didn't get everything, so I'm gonna wait. And then I'm gonna finish this off. <clears throat> I had to break down the pallets with pea gravel and everything. So once I got the pallets and had them in different places, I'm like, okay, well, it doesn't seem right, this beautiful bed over here by itself. What else can I do? <laughs> then I pull the pallets over here. There's a way to do it so you don't hurt yourself. And then I got some more paint, all right? And so then I got some more paint. Next time you see, I have all this fixed up. And that's another project I'm waiting for. This paint, right here. See? Because you might have thought, oh, Miss Marvin didn't do all that paint. Yes, she did. <laughs> oh, yes, she did. Okay. So then I uh, poured a little can out and I painted these one at a time. Okay. After I did that, then I'm like, okay. That seems fine, but something's missing. Then I'm like, okay. That's when I got my little bistro set from someplace else. It was a lime green I wasn't seeing. I'm like, okay, well, let me bring it over here. Then you know what I did, right? <laughs> I put it someplace. Got myself my, my red cans of spray paint. And this is a whole can right here. And I spray those, then I move them around. I do have a question for you. Once again, please tell me, this is where the little thing fell down. What is this? I brought a bunch of these. I can, I've been trying to research. Now that's something I've been trying to research. What is the name of this? And I'm thinking it's some kind of mounding grass. And I thought I almost saw it on some show, but I couldn't write it down. So please tell me what that is. So, as it is, 
that gives you a great idea. You've seen this before. But now when I work out in my garden a lot, I'll be able to, uh, I'll be able to see this. And then, when time, which, this is going to be more gold because I'm afraid that my wind chimes in some places and I love wind chimes but you can hear I just love those so I brought, brought that back in um I think I did you a pretty good idea of the process so if you decide which is a great project for you you decide oh I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna try that because it's easy. I say go for it. Okay. I say really go for it. I'm getting it set up. You say okay, Miss Marvin. You get doing all of this, but winter is coming. I realize winter is coming. Like in um what Game of Thrones? <laughs> Game of Thrones when they say winter is coming. But I actually work normally all the months of the year except January. But then the weather service says it's going to be a warm winter this year. So I guess I'll be out here in January. But if, like I said, my exuberance is, uh, is I'm just, like I said, just because God gave me the strength to, to put all of this together. And, and when I see it, like I said, it brings joy to my heart. The word for today is peacefulness. This brings me so much joy and peacefulness. And once again, as Ms. Marv is posing, I have other projects that I'm going to do to stay busy. And just remember, if you want to declutter, you want to be at peace with God and nature, just work outside. It's just, and so it'll fill your heart when you're talking about holistic approach and everything. It, see? The wind is, that's, that's what we're talking about. We talk about God and nature. And uh, let me get down here. My things going to straighten up. So, it was one, let me see. I told you the word for the day, which is great. And, and as the sun is beating down on our face and brings the brings warmth to our heart and everything just don't be afraid to put a little work in because it pays off and um i think that's pretty much it as far as i tell you what i i always like to say one last thing this fence <laughs> i couldn't stand this fence being terrible i want i tried to pay somebody they're gonna charge me 750 dollars just to paint this little area and i was gonna buy the paint but because of the challenge, and like I say, with our our folks that love Hosta so much out there, and uh, just this was like an inspiration from them, my take on it, and but the fact that my fence is painted, and I can look back here, don't have to close my eyes. If you walk around your yard and you have a place where you have to close your eyes, then you can do something about it, just like I did. Oh, that was this is really really the one last thing. These planter boxes, I'm going to get my drill and put some more holes in those, but I'm going to fill those up with shade loving um, annuals and whatever else I can find. I bought a bunch of seeds, uh, but I have it set up. So this area is set up for next spring. I don't, ha I don't have to go do a lot of work. I mix up my soil and put in there, plant my seeds and go for it. And uh, with that, uh, as I walk back over here, <laughs> as I tip my, as I tip, like I said, Miss Marvin was trying to dance. Oh, she was dancing, dancing, dancing. I can buy a set with no music because of that. <laughs> but love you guys. Thanks for the inspiration. Stay strong and be blessed. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your friends, and hit the notifications button. We'll see you again next time.